Hello, anyone and everyone, I'm Echo, and today we are exploring Final Fantasy VII. We're back here, uh, at the start of the slums area. Whoops, wrong button, trying to sprint. At the, uh, slums area. I don't know if it has a specific name more than that. I can't quite remember. Did Barry just shoot his gun to get those people out of the bar? Seriously? Yeah, it's kind of funny. Playing this game a second time, it's, uh, I have to point out, it's funny how the characters you're playing as don't entirely seem like the good guys, like, like, you sort of just accept them as the good guys because they're the ones you're playing as, and because Barrett gives you the whole spiel about Shinra stealing the energy from the planet and everything like that, but, um, you do blow up a reactor that could possibly have people working inside it at the time uh, who were pr possibly caught in the explosion and killed, and it's also dangerously close to a support beam for the thing, the, you know, the, the upper plate, and, you know, that could potentially cause construction problems, and then he walks into the bar, and if the noise is to be believed, he shoots his gun to threaten people to get them to leave, because he wants privacy in the bar, which, I mean, he has good reason for wanting privacy in the bars, we'll see in a moment, but still, let's talk to these people and see if they have anything to say about what just happened. Did you hear? No, what? There's a news update. They say that there was a terrorist explosion up above, and that this time it was a Mako reactor. You know what this means? No, what? You see, I keep on top of these things, and if you ask me, if you knock out Midgard's power, then all of its computers, computers and signals are going to be knocked out too. Financially, there must have been about a billion gil worth of damage. And that ain't all. A lot of innocent people got killed, too. If the explosion had been in the middle of the night, that would have been one thing. At least the people could have gone in their sleep. So, oh, it's just straight up confirming. Apparently, a lot of people died because of the Mako reactor. A lot of innocent people, as she puts it. Let's see what the little kid has to say. Explosions, explosions. Oh, man. Avalanche is so cool. Yeah, yeah, root for the terrorist organization. That that makes sense. All right, we'll get a chance to look around. Is this a is this a sign or something? I can't tell what this is supposed to be. This little thing. It, it looks sort of like a a sign or a fence post that that's been broken, and then somebody put a green light on top of it. I don't know. Oh, more people. Oh shit! What the hell is wrong tonight? I thought that long blackout was strange. They say a Mako reactor was destroyed above. I was just sitting here drinking, watching the news by myself, and all of a sudden I get kicked out. I get kicked out of the frickin' store. What's up with that? Okay. Whoa! Ah, jeez, I'm blitzed. I just love them homemade cocktails, but they sure do creep up on you. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Huh. It's actually kind of funny. Uh, I'm not gonna say it's like disturbing or anything. I don't mind playing as a, uh, you know, morally gray characters or nothing. I'm a big fan of the Witcher series, but it's kind of funny how just easy it is to gloss over it and miss that the uh, that Barrett and uh, you know by proxy the people who work with him aren't necessarily good people. But uh, yeah, what do you got to say? Okay, go on ahead. What? Why does he even block that stairway? You, Cloud, get off your slow-moving ass. I'll do whatever I want. Look, look, I can walk around and do whatever. Screw you. Let's go, though. Fine. Okay, Papa. Little, little girl is crying in the corner. Oh, boy. Marlene, aren't you going to say anything to Cloud? Huh? Welcome home, Cloud. Looks like everything went well. Did you fight with Barrett? Um... Yeah, well, just a little bit. I should have known. He's always pushing people around, and you've always been in fights ever since you were little. I was worried. And this is Tifa. One of... many fan-favorite characters from this game. Probably the most, though. Um, select. Yeah, there you go. You've all probably heard of Tifa. 
I'm so glad everyone's safe. Yeah, great. That's fantastic. Hey, what's up, Wedge? Oh, Cloud. Tifa really knows how to cook. Hmm. Anyway, let me tell you something. About what? Tifa always lets me taste her cooking. And look at me now, I'm roly-poly. Don't know whether I should be happy or sad, but it's the good food and drinks that make this shop famous. Okay. Shop. I wonder if that's a... I wonder if he calls it a shop for censorship reasons. Because I know back in the 90s, when video games got translated to um, into English, they often had to change the words of things to make it seem more, like, friendly, you know? So, this is obviously a bar. Everybody's drinking, and we don't actually even see any food on the table. That looks like a... In the middle there, that looks like a cigarette uh, tray that you would put a cigarette out in. And so, it seems definitely more like a bar than a than a shop or a restaurant or anything like that. It's even got bar stools up at the front. But maybe they changed that word from bar to shop to make it so that kids can play this game without their parents freaking out. All right. Jesse, hey Wedge, you're getting all excited. Stop making such a mess. Yeah, you fat pig. And Biggs. Ah, nothing like that first drink after a job. Hook. <laughs> why don't you have one too? Yeah, why not? Oh, that's more like it. Even if you were with Soldier, you're still a rookie here, so you'd better listen to whatever I tell you. Oh, shut up. I could kill you with a thought. Practically. I don't suppose we can sit down to have that drink. No? Okay, fine. Alright. Hey, Marlene. Stop being a punk. Is that too much to ask? I guess so. Alright, Tifa, you have anything else to say? Sorry, Cloud. Marlene seems a little shy. Well, yeah. Because I'm a big, scary, tough man. With arms the size of freaking barrels. Alright. I think we have to... What do we have to do? Interact with this? No. I don't remember what we do. Should we just try to leave and then... Yeah, Bear comes in. Right. Marlene. Papa, welcome home! You alright, Barret? Great. Get in here, fools. We're starting the meeting. Oh no, I just realized I've already lost the accent that I had prepared for him. Why doesn't it just stay down? Wait a minute, I just realized... Oh, oh, are you not joining us, Tifa? Sit down. How about... Something to drink? Give me something hard. Just a minute, I'll make one for you. So they're not even... Never mind, I guess he just called it a shop because of dumb reasons or something. Because here, they make it very clear, yeah, you're just... You're drinking alcohol. You know, I'm relieved you made it back safely. What's with you all of a sudden? That job wasn't even tough. I guess not. You were in Soldier. Make sure you get your pay from Barrett. Don't worry, once I get that money, I'm out of here. I like how he, like, jingles the glass before he talks each time. It's kind of a funny detail. Cloud, are you feeling alright? Yeah, why? No reason. You just look a little tired, I guess. Gee, thanks. You look tired is like the insult of really polite people. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, this is an elevator, so why do those guys jump down it? Are they just idiots who are looking to break their legs? Seems like it. Oops. Hey, look at the news. What a blast. Think it was all because of my bomb? But all I really did was just make it like the computer told me. Oh no, I must have made a miscalculation somewhere. Yeah, and killed millions of innocent people, possibly. Good job. You think I'm a little too uptight? No. You could stand to be a lot tighter, actually. Like, in the waistline. Ha ha ha. Well, that's okay. Don't worry about me. I don't look like it, but I'm a coward at heart. Yeah, good. Oh no, I wanted to talk to Biggs, too. Yo, Cloud, there's something I want to ask you. Was there anyone from Soldier fighting us today? None, I'm positive. You sound pretty sure. Well, why wouldn't he? 
there was anyone from Soldier, you would have been stand you wouldn't be standing here right now. Yeah. Mm, can't speak. Don't go thinking you're so bad just because you was in Soldier. I'm kind. Of <laughs> Again, he just can't contain his rage. He's flailing about his arms in every direction. That's Barrett for you, I guess. Cloud. Ugh. Oh no, Biggs. You got fucked up, Barrett. Yeah, you're strong. Probably all them guys in Soldier are. Don't forget that your skinny ass is working for Avalanche now. Don't get no ideas about hanging on to Shinra. Stay in with Shinra. You ask me a question, I answer it. That's all. I'm going upstairs. You want to talk about my money? Uh, I want to talk about my money. What are you laughing about? Papa, you're so great! I love how you don't pay your workers! Barrett shucks money. What? No, no, you're not gonna just say shucks money, you're gonna pay me, man. You better. Tifa, wait, Cloud! Oh no, she doesn't deserve the Marlene voice. She's not annoying like Marlene. Barrett, Tifa, let him go. Looks like he still misses the Shinra. Misses the Shinra. Cloud, shut up. I don't care about neither Shinra nor Soldier. But don't get me wrong. I don't care about Avalanche or the planet for that matter. Angsty little bastard is what we're playing as right now for the first part of the game. Oh, we can't even get over there. Oh, Wedge, I was gonna help... Or not Wedge, Biggs. I was gonna help you up off the floor. But I guess you're too, uh... Predisposed. What are you... St what are you crying about, Jesse? Jesse, please money. Oh my, it must have been for a lot of it. Sure. Well, what the hell. It's a verbal agreement. Now let me figure this out. Oh, stop it, Cloud. Did you hear me? What? Okay. Wedge, Cloud. You say you don't care, but you came to talk to me. Cloud, you just want friends. Isn't that right? Pull off, I really... It doesn't even give you a chance to be like, oh yeah, I just want this friendship. Woo, power of friends. This ain't Kingdom Hearts yet. Friends don't matter. Um, blow off. Yeah, well, you look kind of lonely to me. If you ever got anything you want to get off your chest, you can always talk to me. Sure, whatever. Tifa! Straighten things up with everyone for me. What? No, I don't want to. I'm going. Bye. I just want my money. I just want to get out of here. They call me the hero of Pay Me. Because of reasons and stuff. That reference doesn't make any sense. Never mind. I'm just gonna just stop. Tifa again. There you go. Listen, Cloud, I'm asking you. Please join us. Sorry, Tifa. The planet is dying. Slowly but surely, it's dying. Someone has to do something. So let Barrett and his buddies do something about it. It's got nothing to do with me. So, you're really leaving? You're just going to walk out ignoring your child walk right out ignoring your childhood friend. What? How can you say that? Sorry. How can you say that? You forgot the promise too. Promise? So you did forget. Remember, Cloud, it was seven years ago. Oh, flashback! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> the models look even worse up close. Tifa, look, the well. Do you remember? Yeah, back then. I thought you would never come, and I was getting a little cold. Oh, it's a little cloud. With his dorky green shorts. Tifa, sorry I'm late. <sighs> Can't yawn during this powerful emotional scene of two old friends bonding. She doesn't have kneecaps. Oh my god. Her legs are just disjointed rectangles. Like QB rectangles, and they don't even connect correctly. You you can see between where the knees should be because they just sort of 
bend like on wedges. Oh my god, Tifa. You said you wanted to talk to me about something? Come to spring. I'm leaving town for Midgar. All the boys are leaving town. I should do a I should do a young voice for them because they're little children in this. Little annoying children who poop their pants still probably. But I'm different from them. I'm not just going to find a job. I want to go die in war. I mean, join soldier. I'm going to be the best there is, just like Sephiroth. Sephiroth? The great Sephiroth? You're, conver you're converting to Judaism? Why is he... Walk all the way around. Oh, he's climbing up. Okay. I thought he was going to walk onto the other side of where she was sitting. Isn't it hard to join, soldier? Ugh, I can't figure out my voices. Jeez, I'm not a professional. I probably won't be able to come back to this town for a while. <laughs> that should just be Cloud's permanent voice. Huh? After... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. After he stops being a... A whiny, selfish prick for the first part of the game. That's the voice I'm going to use for him for the rest of it. If you make it, will you be in the newspapers? Oh, God, I can't... Mmm. Consistency. I'll try. Whatever. Hey, let's make a promise. Um, if you get really famous and I'm ever in a bind, you'll come save me, alright? What? What? If I'm ever in trouble, like, you know, if I join a terrorist group that tries to blow up places and kill innocent people, my hero will come and rescue me. I want to experience that at least once. What? Come on, promise me. Alright, I promise. Shooting star. Shooting stars are pretty. Tifa, you remember now, don't you? I promise. I'm not a hero and I'm not famous, so I can't keep our promise. But you got your childhood dream, didn't you? You joined Soldier. I God, I can't even figure out a voice for Tifa. Oh, I'll just stop trying, so come on, you've got to keep your promise. Wait a sec, big time soldier. A promise is a promise. Here. Yeah, throw the money on the floor. 1500 gil. From Barrett's stash. Okay, that's... Hmm. This is my pay. Don't make me laugh. What? Then you'll... You got the next mission lined up? I'll do it for 3000. What? It's okay, it's okay. Psst, we're really hurting for help, right? Ugh, ugh, that money's for Marlene schooling. Two thousand. Thanks, Cloud. He didn't agree to it. The price is still three thousand. I expect three thousand. Me. All right, let's look over these secret plans here. Can we even get? We still can't get around. God damn it! Fine, let's go on the other side then. Can we get get around? No, no, no. Okay, cool. Can't. Is that a gun on the box? That looks like a gun to the left of Cloud right there, sitting on the box. That looks like a gun. Looks sort of like an old, uh, like a like the Red Nine from Resident Evil Four, which is based off of a real life gun used in World War II by the Germans, or World War I, was it? I can't remember. I don't remember the real name of it, but it looks like that. Nothing we can examine this whole room, really. Literally, that's a disappointment. Okay, fine, let's just go back upstairs, then. Whatever. Hey. Good morning, Cloud. Did you sleep well? Here, it's snoring kicked me up. Thanks, you one. Oh, boy. So, do we want to... Just, like, go full hog with the prick cloud? Or do you want to turn him into a slightly pervy cloud? 
Huh. Wait, did, it, did they all sleep in the basement on the floor? Did they all sleep in the bar? That's kinda... Huh. I guess they really are freaking poor and living in the slums. They don't even have homes of their own, do they? They not only slept in the bar, but in order to try and stay warm, they went to the basement. And because they don't have a bed, because apparently it's really hard to get a bed, um, they just slept on the floor, like huddled up in a pile. Like, can you imagine that? Like, Barrett and Tifa and Cloud, and Marlene as well, huddled up into a pile, like, animals. <laughs> like, uh, what's that animal? I think weasels do that, if I remember correctly. Weasels and, like, ferrets and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure they all do that. They just huddle up in a big ball together when they sleep for warmth. And apparently that's what these people are doing. Um, so, I guess it doesn't matter, but whatever. Alright, let's not antagonize the man who's really large and has a gun for an arm. How about that? Instead, we'll antagonize the uh, rather normal-looking woman who, as of yet, we don't know, can punch really super hard. But we'll learn that later. Whoops, spoilers. I don't know what you mean. I'm going this time. <laughs> I don't know what you mean, because I'm completely oblivious. Okay. Marlene, what's up? You, you don't want you don't want to talk? No? Okay, fine. Screw you, Marlene. Barrett, our target's the Sector 5 reactor. Head for the station first. I'll fill you in on the train. Yo, Cloud. For the next mission, I got something I want to ask you. I, uh, I don't really know how to use materia. I'll give you that materia we found. Just teach me how to use it. Oh, so when we picked it up, it went to like Barrett's inventory that is that why I couldn't equip it before okay <sighs> okay I'll explain it you wouldn't understand so this is basically just a, a nice way of giving the player the tutorial but by still making the character they're playing as not look like a dumbass by having your character actually explain it to a different character which is something I think more games should do because uh, most games just seem to default to the idea of, oh no, the player has to be able to relate to the character, so if the player doesn't know something, the character shouldn't know it either. And it ends up coming off as if the character's a complete amateur who doesn't know anything, even in positions like, uh, say, the Metal Gear Solid series, where you're supposed to be playing like a super badass spy with years of training and experience, and yet in every single game, except for the second game, he's, like, completely clueless about how everything works, and he needs to, you know, call up his team on the radio and ask them how to do everything. So, yeah. Okay, I'll explain it. Because I don't remember how to use Materia either, so we'll go through it real quick. Sure, I'll explain how Materia works. First, access the menu. You know, the basic functions. Wow, just skip the thing. Yep. Okay, like this. Is it auto- is it automatically going or not? Whatever. Okay, select each menu by pressing OK. If you want to leave the menu, just push cancel. Yeah, 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 let's go. He just- again, it's like skipping some of them for some- for some reason. Now you're in this menu. Materia, yeah, cloud, select if you want to use it. I'm blaming on the controller. Now look at my weapon here. Each weapon armor has slots in it. Yep. Choose which slot you want to put materia in. Uh huh. Yep. Restore. Now select the material you want to use. Okay. Yes. I, I, okay. I kind of get it now. I remember. It's not that complicated at all. Yep. You put the. Uh huh. Yep. Find the cursor up with the check in the menu. Check. And push the OK button. Attack with the good weapon. It's just like selecting battle commands. Just line the cursor up with magic. Oh, and now you got the cure. You can see that the available magic is increased. There you go. Oh, I fucking skipped again, because that's all there is to equipping materia. See, it wasn't that tough. When you want to remove any materia, it's as easy as pointing to the materia slot and pushing menu. Fantastic. Just one thing you have to be careful of. Whenever you equip materia, situation changes. 
Parts of you may become stronger, while others get weaker. Normally, when you equip magic materia, fucking hell, but your physical strength weakens. It probably said your magic increase gets stronger, but your physical strength gets weaker. So materia is kind of a double-edged sword. Uh huh. On the left side of the screen, fucking skipped again. Like sometimes, like I'm not pressing anything right now, and it's not going to the next thing. It's wise not to overuse magic materia. Yeah, that's the message it's giving us. I'm not pressing any button. And it's not skipping past the text thing. So unless some of the text messages just last a really freaking long time, and others don't, then that means it, 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 it's not going away at all. That's, I think, is quite reasonable to assume that these don't go away at all, and we have to press the A button to continue on, but... Sometimes when I press the A button, it randomly skips, like, the next message after it as well. But try out various things. Push cancel to exit the submenu. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's about it. I'll give you some advanced tips later. Thanks. Shit, what's this? It wasn't that tough? Crap. I don't get it. You just handle the material, Cloud. He just says it wasn't that tough, followed by I don't get it. Materia system. Access the menu and select Materia to equip Materia. Cloud, I got a message from the weapon shop man upstairs. He has something he wants to give you. Don't forget. Oh, oh, the yawns. The yawns are going to ruin my entire channel. Tifa, Marlene, you watch the store while we're gone. Yes, underage girl who's probably all about 12 or so. You serve booze to the grown men who will come in here. Marlene, all right, good luck. Jesus! Alright. Let's equip that materia, though, because I don't think it stayed on. Ooh, lightning and ice magic. We don't need either of these. Not right now. Restore magic, though. I will take that. Let's get rid of the ice magic. So yeah, the restore... We can actually take it off real quick. Our health is 360. When we put it on, it goes down to 353. But our MP goes up to 60... Seven, so we get one extra MP. We get a little bit of less health, but it gives us the ability to cast Cure, which is uh, far more useful than uh, the slight loss in health. You know, the uh, the seven points of HP are not going to outweigh the usefulness of being able to use the Restore Magic. So that's cool. And also, um, yeah, I don't remember if it's just as simple as kill things and gain experience, and then eventually whatever materia you have equipped levels up. It might be more complicated than that, I don't exactly remember, it's been a while, like I said. But uh, yeah, as you can see there, the uh, it will level up in some way, and go up ranks, and it'll go from Cure to Cure 2 to Regen to Cure 3, and give us extra, you know, abilities and stuff, and just generally become more powerful. So does Barrett have any stuff? No, he does not. Does Tifa have any stuff? No, she does not. Alright, well... Give her... I can't remember if she works better with lightning or ice. Let's go with ice. I don't even know, know if it actually matters. And we'll give him lightning. So there you go, everybody has a spell. So that way, because if we put two things on Cloud, then that would lower his health quite a bit. And it's kind of redundant to give him a bunch of different magic uh, abilities, because he can't use them all at the same time anyway. So I'm just gonna... Oh, fucking wrong button, oh my god. So I'm just gonna give each of them one. That seems good for now. Alright, so... I said the weapon guy was upstairs. I don't think he's actually in this building, though. Unless I remember incorrectly. I think the weapon guy is actually across over here. Yeah, he is. Okay. Let's, uh, go in there. Whoa, go in there. Okay. Had to line up a little bit better than that. Okay. Hey, you, person. Hey, hey! Wait a minute, you. You can't just walk out of here without buying something. Might be unhealthy for you, if you know what I mean. Oh. Oh, I see what they're going for. Iron Bangle. Assault Gun. Grenade. Explosive damage against one opponent. Iron Bangle. So that would just give extra defense. Sure, we'll buy a couple of those. Uh, just... 
one or two? Let's buy two. Might as well, we've got a, a good bit of money. And can we sell anything? I don't know if we want to sell anything. Yeah, we want to keep all these. And we should also equip Barret with that, uh... Also equip Barret with the assault gun that I forgot to do last time. So, Gatling gun, assault gun, more damage, more accuracy, and it's got an extra slot. Okay, cool. Oh, but now we have to... Oh, okay, cool. The materia automatically switches over to the new weapon you equip. That's nice. I was hoping it would do that, but I didn't remember. All right, now... Nope, oh, whoops, nope, equip. All right, cloud. Bronze bangle. Iron bangle, make her... Oh, wait a minute. Bronze bangle. Can we unequip that? Huh. That's weird. We don't seem to be able to unequip an item once we have it on, so... Alright, whatever, I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh, but uh, I like that the equipment stuff also has materia slots. Again, something I did not remember. So, very nice. Alright, and Tifa, you'll get the other one. The other iron bangle. Because you could use some extra defense, you don't have a lot of health there. Barret actually has uh, a little bit less defense than... Yeah, it's just more bronze bangles. Ugh. Ugh. If I remember correctly, doesn't he have... Because we're not going to be using Barret. I don't find his moves all that uh, visually interesting. He just shoots stuff. And to me, uh, other characters are more fun to use. So I'm not going to really worry about equipping him with a lot of stuff. But also, I think, if I remember correctly... Where is his defense? 28. Defense percent is 2. So, yeah, 28. Um, defense, 29 and 3. But that's with the Iron Bangle. And then her, she's 27. So, you know what? Actually, let's just test something out then. Let's give him a Bronze Bangle. And look at his stats. Is down to 27. Okay, so yeah. The vindication is real in this case, because I wanted to test it, and I proved it that yes, the, uh, the Barret dude has the highest natural defense of all of them, because he's at 28 with just the Bronze Bangle, whereas the rest of them would be at 27 with the Bronze Bangle, so that means he must have higher natural defense. So he's the least worthy of having the Iron Bangle, so there you go. I just uh, found a perfect excuse to exclude the one black man in the party, and I wasn't even trying to. <laughs> Jeez. That sounds horrible when you put it that way. Don't worry, it's just a joke. It's just a joke, and I'm also out of time. Why can't I point towards the camera? Damn it. You can only point at an angle. Fine, we'll just do it like this then. I'm out of time for now, and I will have to see you all in the next episode, where we'll go upstairs and see what the item the uh, weapon shop guy person wants from us. I hope you all have enjoyed it, and I hope you all will continue to enjoy it. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.